everyone, this is Tanya from Shindig Apparel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to thread a drawstring. I'll be using a Vanellope hoodie as my example, but uh, it's the same technique for any kind of drawstring, including elastic waistbands. So you can use either a drawstring tool, which you can pick up at your local craft store. If you're using one of these, you're going to want to thread your drawstring through the first hole and then in the opposite direction through the second hole and leave yourself a bit of a tail. If you're using a safety pin, choose the largest safety pin that will either fit through your drawstring hole or um, fit through the channel that you're threading the elastic through. And in that case, take your cord or your drawstring and stick the safety pin near the end in and out like that. Okay. So, take the garment that you're doing the drawstring on and thread the safety pin through the hole. You may have to push the end of the cord through since it's got that big plastic tip on it. Okay, so once you have the safety pin in, you're going to want, you can feel the um, safety pin there, so what you're going to want to do is push the fabric up so that it gathers in this big bunch as much as you can while still feeling the end, that hard end of the safety pin. Okay, so then grab the hard end of the safety pin so you're pinching the channel of the fabric and pull this end, the other end, that you can feel, that you can see the uh, cord through. So pull, 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 pull until it all lays straight. Okay. Then grab the other end of the safety pin that you can still feel through your fabric, and again, bunch that fabric. Bunch it, bunch it, bunch it. Until you can still feel that hard tip of the safety pin and pull again. And you just want to repeat that bunch and pull. Now if you have a short drawstring, you're going to want to be careful not to let the end of your drawstring go inside the channel. And what you can do is take another safety pin and pin the end of the channel through your drawstring so that the drawstring doesn't get lost inside the channel there. Because then you'll have to start over. Okay. So we're about halfway here, bunching and pulling. Alright, so now when you've bunched up all the way to the uh, opposite hole here, you just poke the safety pin through. Grab that tip of the safety pin and pull. And again, you might have a little bit of trouble getting that plastic tip out, but just be gentle and firm. Alright, so we've got the tip out, and then you just pull all the way. Match up the two ends of your drawstring together, and pull, 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 pull. 
And then you should have your drawstring in, and if you pull from the, um, the middle, that will give you a nice, even drawstring. Okay, so take your safety pin out. Now, if you are replacing your drawstring on a Vanilla Bee hoodie, it's probably because you're washing your hoodie. You need to make extra sure that you take out the drawstring before you wash your hoodie, because red likes to run when it gets wet, so the dye will turn your Vanilla Bee hoodie into a zombie Vanilla Bee hoodie, which is a bad thing if you don't want to be a zombie Vanilla Bee. Okay, so the other thing you're going to need to do with your hoodie is re-thread the cord through the pocket. So you've got four pieces of short cord, two shorter ones and two longer ones. Take the longer one and tie a knot in it. Right, make sure the knot is right at the end so that you don't have any extra through the end there. All right. Then put it inside the pocket and push that plastic tip up through that hole. The longer one makes the X, so it's going to be in one of the left side holes, or the right side if you're wearing it, but left side. Okay, so push that tip firmly but gently through and pull it out. Okay, and now you're going to stick it inside the other hole, right, and stick your hand inside the hoodie. Alright, and grab that other end. Alright, so inside the hoodie. You can see it's poking through there. Grab that other end and pull it through. All the way. So your fabric is kind of bunched up right now, but you want to pull it through all the way so you have some spare to make another knot at this end. Okay, turn your hoodie right side out, and then you have replaced the cord. Hooray! And repeat three more times. <laughs>